Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to do a very easy Giga Tame. And if this video is helpful, please like and subscribe, thank you. I recorded this method from my live stream, which was quite funny and I'll link it at the end if you want to watch. We are at the volcano, because on single player private, this is the only place I've found that Gigas spawn. I'm just getting everything prepared. All you need is two dino gates and one large trap. Making sure everything's loaded so we don't waste any time. And a shotgun just in case anything else attacks. Right, you can do this without a flyer, but it's easier with. Get on it. Right, go into the volcano crater. I've already pulled the Giga up the ramp. So it doesn't burn itself and die on the lava. It's level 90. Then fly into this passageway and put a dino gate about halfway in. On the narrow section so it can't get past. And land. Get your large trap. Put it on your hotbar. Move it a bit away from the doorway. There we go. It'll need time to open up. That's where we're going to trap it. Still waiting. There we go. It's opening up. Now go to the Giga and grab its aggro. There we go. It's a fast mover, so watch out. Kite it down the corridor. Come on, a bit more. There you go, once you hear that, it stepped onto the trap so it can't move back. Then place another dino gate behind it. You want to leave enough room so you can shoot it without it being able to bite you. And there you go, we have it trapped. Now you can shoot it from either side. Here there was a little bit opening on the right hand side, so I thought, maybe not. We'll go on the other side where it's really narrow and it's got no chance of getting out. But that gate should stop it from escaping when it's high on torpor. So I land the other side. Park your bird. Make sure it's safe because the Giga's got a big bite radius. Right, let's see if it can get out. Nope. There we go. Now I've got it trapped. And because it always spawns on top of a volcano, you can always do this method. Now start shooting it with narcos. This may take a while. I was doing it in a real game while I was live streaming to people. So you can come and watch me at weekends if you like. It's trapped, so just basically keep shooting it. Do it as fast as possible because the torpor goes down really quickly. If you wanted to take notes, I started with 191 narco arrows. I just skip forward 8 minutes and we're about to run out. Okay, I'm out of arrows. Now switch to a long neck with narco darts. And I've got 61 of those. I was looking for the rest of the normal arrows, but we're on the bird. The Giga keeps trying to run forward and throw itself over the dino gate, but can't manage it. I will soon run out of narco darts. So I need to get to my bird. Grab the normal arrows and the narcotics. And I can make more as I'm shooting it. Stick a couple more in it. Make sure its torpor doesn't go down. Should be enough. Right. Let's make knocker arrows. Keep shooting it while it's doing that.
Let's get forward another three minutes. There goes Narco Darts, back onto arrows. I'll try and use arrows when I can because they're easy to make. Cast almost nothing. It tries and runs away when it's high on torpor, that's why I had to put a back gate in. But it wasn't moving so I started to get worried if it was bugged. It still looks like it's up. Starts to take a bit of damage. Go closer. And looks at me and go, ooh! Still awake. Okay, I'll back off. Keep shooting it. And I thought, what the hell? It's dead. And I noticed it breathing still. But okay. I really hope I haven't killed it. I'm going to take a closer look. And it's alive! It's knocked out. I was slightly relieved. You should watch your live stream, it's quite funny. The chat was winding me up. Right, let's go get the bird. Got kibble. I need narcotics. No, right, it should be safe up here. Anything it usually spawns are any carcass and gigas. Let's check if there's anything spawned. I won't put it past them. Take a selfie. It looks tired, bless it. Right, I could starve tame it, but I'm a bit low on narcotics. Let's remove that gate so it doesn't get cramp in its leg. Let's give it some kibble. Because I'm a bit low on narcotics, I need to go back to base to get some more. When it eats, it registers all its stats. I can tell if it's knocked out. Let's give it loads of narcotics. It's been a while since I've tamed one of these. So its torpor goes down really quick. In fact, let me give it some more. Okay, I'm going to fly back to base, get more narcotics, and come back. And I got them. I had to farm some narco berries to make them. Stop off to get a yellow drop. And you just see the icon go green. That means it's tamed. I missed it waking up though. Get to the top of the volcano. And I'm glad to see it standing waiting for me. Just check if there's any others spawned in. You never know. Let's land. Get the saddle out. Put it on the Giga. Drag a good food out. Or because there's nothing to eat, it'll eat it. And transfer some raw meat over. Make sure it doesn't go hungry.
And you can ride your Giga. But if it's the first one, you get an achievement. Now delete the gates. I'd advise riding the Giga out of passage. Put the bird on follow. Take it out into the opening. Let's name it Giggity. Then get on your bird, whistle the Giga to follow you. And because you're not on it, it won't take any damage if it falls. Drag it down the volcano. And take it home and you've tamed yourself a Giga. If this video was helpful, please like. It'd be nice if you subscribe if you haven't already. And click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. It would help a lot if you shared the link for this video. I stream at a weekend so it'd be nice if you come and watched. And don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye and I hope you have a good day.